Hi, this is Cheyenne with Cloud Adoption Solutions. Today we're going to go over how to mass download files in Salesforce from a list view. So I was able to develop this pretty quickly thanks to declarative development. Um, and once these files are downloaded, you can easily print them, you can email them, whatever you need to do with those files. So doing this from a list view allows the user to create new list views themselves so they can filter the records as they need um, and print or download accordingly. The return on investment for this development would be great because otherwise you would have to individually go into each record, click on the file you want, download it, go to another record, click on the file, download it, print it, go to another record and do the same thing. So you can see how this would be extremely time consuming um, otherwise. So first we're going to go over the flow I used to create this, just the general outline. Um, this is a screen flow that is accessed from this list button called download cover letters. Um, the purpose of this flow is to find specifically uh, PDFs with a certain title that are on each of these records. Okay, so if we open our screen flow, the first thing we'll need is an input variable um, called IDs. And it does need to be IDS just like you see here, the capitalization matters, um, and mark it as available for input because this will send all of the IDs of the records into the screen flow. The end goal here is to retrieve all of the content document IDs that we need to print. Um, and that is because at the very end, we are going to be utilizing an action from unofficial Salesforce to mass download files. And that takes content document IDs. Okay, so the first thing I do is start with the document links on our records. So I have a get records element for content document leaks where the linked entity ID is in my list of record IDs. Um, it's important for you to understand the relationship between content documents, content document links, and content versions so that you can tailor this flow for your own needs in your own org. Um, and there are lots of articles online to help you understand those relationships if needed. Once I have my content document links, um, for this situation, I am grabbing my content documents that are in that list of content document link IDs. Um, and I'm also wanting the content documents that have a specific title, in this case is SR, and that are a PDF. In my use case, this will return multiple because there are multiple PDFs with the same name, just a different version. Um, so I just have some extra processing here to pull the actual content documents that I need. Uh, and because I'm doing this declaratively in Flow and not with Apex, there's a little bit less control. So I end up with a list of of content document IDs that have duplicates. Um, so to correct that, I have an Apex action here. I just send it in my list of duplicated IDs in really quickly. And then I get an outputted list of IDs that are not duplicated. Um, for your circumstance, you, you may not need to use any Apex at all, and you could do this 100% declaratively. 
I just had to do this because Flo, at the current time of filming this, doesn't have a fantastic way of duplicate or deduplicating a list. Um, so the next thing we'll do is pass our content and document IDs after retrieving them from the skit records, doing all of our filtering, adding them to a list of the IDs only. Um, and then we'll pass it into our unofficial Salesforce mass file download action. Now, because this screen flow is running on a list view, as we can see here, actions aren't available. So it was necessary to create a list button And you can see that here uh, with a URL to the flow. And because of that, we need to exit this flow with the finish button. And here I've just renamed it download files. After this action, just make sure if this is going on a list view that you have a screen here and the user clicks the finish button um, and that will enable them to download the files so we'll just get a quick visual of what this looks like you can see I have a list of sample requests here um, all of these sample requests well some some of them have PDF some of them don't um, but I want to print the ones that are that are available that I need so I'll click on all of my sample requests and click download cover letters. And finally download files. And you can see we have a nice zipped file of our downloaded content. Um, and then you can open it up, send it, print it, whatever you need to do. Thanks for tuning into our channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and ring the bell. And if you have any Salesforce related questions or needs, feel free to reach out to any of us here at Cloud Adoption Solutions.